This is the main refugee registration center here uh, in the center of Beirut. Now, this is one of four uh, refugee centers in the country, and every single day you get hundreds of refugees like these uh, queuing up to get papers so they can establish themselves as refugees and get some of the benefits. Some of these people here would prefer to get money so they can stay here in Lebanon or elsewhere in the region, but others would like to go uh, abroad to resettle in Europe or anywhere that would take them in. How do you choose between them? How do you choose the most vulnerable? And how much difference does it make? We always like to see priority go to persons who are most in need, persons who've suffered violence and torture. We have people who are disabled and elderly who really struggle in Lebanon and for whom a resettlement option is really their only solution. Now, um, here at this one centre alone, you're registering at least several hundred a day, and there's four, three other centres in the country. Um, obviously, taking in a few hundred is just a drop in the ocean, isn't it? Is it going to make much difference? It makes an enormous difference to those people who are allowed to go. It makes an important difference to Lebanon, who see countries stepping up and trying to help share their burden. And yes, every little bit helps. We're encouraging more. We hope to have, reach a target in the region of 30,000 this year, and we're pushing for that in dialogue with resettlement uh, countries to help us reach that target. Obviously, taking in just a few hundred of the many thousands of Syrians who are coming out of their country every single day will just be a drop in the ocean. But one thing is for sure, for the lucky few who do make it, it will completely transform their lives.